Hey guys, Arlisha here and welcome to another video. I'm so excited to be hanging out with you again today and I thought we would take a little bit of time to talk a bit about how I fulfill orders and run my online shop. This isn't necessarily going to be like a tutorial video or everything you need to know about running an online shop. As someone who has had an online shop for about three years now, I just wanted to kind of share with you how my process has changed and to encourage anyone who is either running an online shop or anyone who is thinking about selling their creations online that it's okay for your process to change over time. I could talk about this in so many different facets. That can slowly add up to a lot of waste for myself and for my customers. So I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about how I'm slowly making that process more environmentally friendly and generating as little waste as possible for me and for you guys. I love getting to process and handle every order by hand it just feels very personal and like it's a way for me to think and communicate every person who buys something from my shop so a day of packing orders usually starts with printing and cutting any prints or stickers that i might need to fulfill the orders for the past few days it's always interesting to me to see what people like the best, so which prints I sell the most of, or every once in a while one of my favorite pieces that may not sell as many prints or stickers pops up in an order and it makes me so happy. I recently sold this pair of originals and I love packing up originals. They take a little extra care to get them ready and if you ever see an original wrapped up with yarn that's actually yarn that I spun myself back when I had a spinning wheel and I was doing that as a hobby and I'm just using up the leftovers now and I like to try and use as little plastic as possible so oftentimes I will try to combine as many items together in one bag while still making sure everything is safe and protected for shipping. I was recently able to collaborate with No Issue which is a company that creates eco-friendly custom packaging so i have a few different packing supplies here that we work together to create just for packing my orders and i am so in love with all of them and really excited about them we have stickers and new large thank you cards for larger shop orders and i got two stamps as well I've really been enjoying exploring their products and they are all compostable, recycled or recyclable or reusable like the stamps. They were so helpful in getting my items just right and if you're interested in checking out any of these products and any of their other stuff for yourself, I will leave links down in the description of this video.
This whole transition to being more conscious and aware about my packaging has been a long time coming. It's one of those things where from, you know, the very first day when I decided I wanted to have an online shop, I wanted to be conscious of what I was using as, as a shop owner and also what I was sending to my customers. So trying not to include too much stuff that was just going to be looked at and then thrown away, while at the same time finding the balance between that and creating a very unique and special and personal unboxing, we'll say, experience when your order arrives to you. One of the scary things about one of the scary things about claiming the phrase eco-friendly as a whole, at least for me, was that I felt that if I was going to even try to use the words eco-friendly in relation to my packaging, I had to know everything there was to know about it right away. So I had to know where everything was being made and the impact it had on the environment as far as is it plastic, is it recycled, is it recyclable? Can it be composted? And how much energy is used in creating this particular packaging item? And it was all really overwhelming at first. So I kind of avoided even doing the research for a couple of years because I felt like I couldn't even try to attach myself to the phrase eco-friendly without knowing absolutely everything there was to know. And I've learned over time that it's okay to take small steps. And that's how we're all going to make a difference together. You know, no one person has to do everything they can possibly do to protect our environment all at once. But if we each take steps a little at a time and try to get better as we go, then we can make a massive difference together. So while my packaging experiences may continue to change over time, I'm really excited and happy and proud of the progress I've been able to make so far. And I will do my best to leave links to as many of the supplies and things that I'm using down in the description below, as well as links to a couple of my favorite videos where other content creators are specifically outlining their eco-friendly process.
So it's okay if it takes time for you. You have to do what is within your budget and what makes sense to you. And if there are certain things that you are more passionate about, as far as building out your arsenal of shop packaging, you just have to focus on what matters to you. And that will shine through when your customers receive what you're giving them. I did my best in this video to show you a couple different examples of packaging orders. So packaging large prints, packaging small prints and originals and sticker packs. And the last few that I'm showing you, I've actually been experimenting with glassine bags, which is compressed paper that is compressed over and over and over again so that the paper becomes actually water resistant. And this has been a really exciting alternative to using plastic. So at the time of recording this voiceover, those packages are out in the mail right now. So those individuals will soon be receiving my first plastic free shop orders, which is really exciting. I have to say thank you to all of you, whether you've purchased from my shop or not. Even your support in just watching these videos is what makes it possible for me to be able to learn and to grow and to make these adjustments. It feels so good packing every single one of these orders, knowing that I'm being more conscious about what I'm doing and that I'm taking the time to do what I can to take care of the world that we live in. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons and my members over on YouTube. You may notice that this screen is looking a little bit different than usual. I've actually been making some adjustments over on Patreon so that now patrons and YouTube members at a specific tier can have their names featured at the end of videos as producers. So more people to say thank you to, yay. And also this month is the very last month that I will be making sticker sheets. So if you are a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube, or if you sign up anytime during this month, you will have access to an exclusive shop link to purchase this sticker sheet, even if you weren't charged at the beginning of the month, because this is the last one I'll be making. So you can check that out if you're interested. Thank you for joining me for this video. Links to tons of stuff down in the description, and I will see you all next week. Bye bye.